Up next, rolling in L.A. with the world's only double-decker food bus. This is our red wine braised short rib. So tender, you could eat it with a spoon. The double-decker bus has been around for 100 years. But a double-decker gourmet restaurant, that's something new. In Los Angeles, a remodeled double-decker is roaming the street, serving up five-star street food. And trust me, this is one bus you don't want to miss. Hey! This is something totally different. There's no double-decker bus on the streets that's running around doing what we're doing with upstairs dining. What he's doing is taking street food somewhere it's never been off the sidewalk and on to the roof of a double-decker bus. You know, Whitey's like, has changed the game by bringing a bus out on the streets. I mean, that's just like, that's pretty brave. There's something special about just being on top of a double-decker. We wanted to create an environment that people could dine. You want to know what all these rich people are seeing. You can enjoy your food and not have to sit on the curb like what you do with most food trucks. This is amazing. This is actually perfect. The only thing more audacious than the bus is the food you can get on it. The menu is one part fine dining, one part street food. And even that comes with an exotic twist. World Fair is a bigger concept to simple. It's internationally inspired dishes and the bunny chars a delivery system for those, those dishes. The bunny what? It was really great. I wasn't quite sure why they call it a bunny. What is bunny chow? Is it bunnies? You know, what are we dealing with yet? Bunny chow is a South African street food. It's a hollowed out loaf of bread filled with curry. For LA newbies, Travis has shrunk it down in size from half a loaf to something more like a cupcake. We do a chicken curry. It's actually more of a Thai chicken curry than an Indian curry. Curry, cardamom, turmeric, ground marsala, and then we add coconut milk. That's kind of the base of our curry. Now we're going to be strong enough, and we're going to be vegetarian chili, and we do a barbecue pork, but it literally takes 20 hours to make the bunny chow. All the way from the barbecue sauce being made from scratch all the way through to the actual pork being braised for like 16 hours. I don't even know. I, I, if I get involved in the kitchen, she kicks me out, so. He can never do what I do, and I can never do what he does, so <laughs> we, we do well together. <laughs> Travis hired former Gordon Ramsay sous chef Andy Van Willigan to run his kitchen. And just like her old boss, Andy's one tough cookie. If you're not ready to cook at my level and put out what I want to put out, then go to the don't put your fingers in there. He'll like get a fork and then double dip and I'll like, oh yeah. Everything about the bus actually works really well for street business, but it's just, uh, it's a monster. It is a monster. You can't help but notice it, and it's actually imported from England, so it is the real deal. I went to about five catering truck builders to make this thing happen. The budget was like a quarter of a million, so it's, it, it adds up. Taco trucks have all got the roofs that go up, so the heat goes out the roofs. So they had to design a real powerful fan system, and the screen door lets air in and out. So the airflow inside you is very, very good. We're gonna hustle because it's already three o'clock. We're gonna fill up the gas, fill up the food. Gonna hit Venice Beach by 5.30 tonight. So we've got about 20 minutes. <laughs> Well, driving around where, where the pots are still hot and the stove is still hot is, is it's kind of scary. So we're trying to hold everything. Hopefully Pete drives nicely. Hey! Our driver actually has to work the fire station. So it's finding a driver who cooks or a cook that drives. I went to battle with Travis. I'm not gonna have these like drivers like try to like do food. She said it. My boss Andy in the back yelling at me. <laughs> Pete! But yeah, I mean Pete does a really good job. So I mean it's frying fries. It's not that hard of a deal, but Pete says he likes it. <laughs> I love coming down to Venice Beach because everybody, everybody down here, is, they're real foodies, you know? They really enjoy the food and they're into it. It's always a fun service coming down here. This is the second side of the menu which we discussed, which is basically the chef's blackboard. It's basically where we do restaurant meals on the streets. This is our grilled salmon salad. All of the, the strawberries and greens are from the farmer's market. This is our steak frites. So it's an eight ounce Piedmontese, all natural, hormone free steak. I love this one. This is my favorite dish on the menu. This is our red wine braised short rib. We cook it for 15 hours. And then we have a savory bread pudding that we serve it with. It's so tender, you could eat it with a spoon. 
It's been a ride. It's, it's been a roller coaster ride. But based on where we've been in the first five weeks, we're on the right track to become a, a profitable operation. The reality is, every single day we go out, it's fun. And as long as you're having fun, I think you can really make it work. Bye, see you.